Hiya guys and welcome back to Wade's Workshop. So this is going to be the steam chest that we're going to be making next. So this is going to be the first of probably three episodes on the steam chest. Um, as I sit here now, I've already done probably more than an hour's worth of video on this part. And there's quite a lot to do on it. So I edited it all together, realised I'd got a video 60 minutes long and I hadn't finished. So I've cut it back just to do this part. So this is the milling and blocking up part of the steam chest. So we'll do that. One thing I will say at this stage, having got as far as I've got, um, I've realised that in the bottom of this steam chest, though, there is a detail of it, which is a 70 thou hole, and it's quite deep down in the part. So I had a look at my uh, 70 thou, or 1.8 millimetre drill, and it wouldn't drill deep enough to do the job in question. So what I have done, and you may want to do the same before you start this part, is I ordered myself a 1.8 millimetre drill, long series. So, uh, yeah, you probably will be going to need one of those guys if you haven't got one already. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking about doing this model kit, uh, this particular one I got from RDG Tools. I think it's like £3.80 delivered, which sounds a lot for a very small drill, but when you haven't got one, £3.80 is cheap. So, yeah, uh, order yourself one of those if you haven't already got one to do this part. So, let's get straight on with the machining or the milling part, blocking up part of this steam chest. So, steam chest. Um, I just ran a file over this side and it sort of touched pretty much everywhere. So, I'm going to call that side my datum. I did it on that side and it was a few high spots, but uh, that side feels like it's a flatter side. So, that's my datum to start with. Now, one thing to note um, you can see that the boss here is offset this way. Now, that's not a casting fault, that's deliberate because the turned features on this end and that end are offset on the part so that's something worth bearing in mind before you start but when you look at where the bosses are in this direction they are central about so I think what I'm going to do is put this back face against my fixed jaw and I'm just going to clean this up and then I'll flip it this way keeping the back face against the same jaw clean this up then I can hold it between these two and just flash this space and this space. So basically blocking up these four faces in this orientation, not touching the ends at the moment, just squaring up to get myself a, a reference. Now the part that's not machined is that square hole in the center. Um, so when I come to do dimensions this way and here, those are the two parts which are going to be equal when I reach finished dimension on these two. So that's where we're heading to start with. So I'm going to put this in the vise and machine one or other of these spaces. So there's loads of meat on here. I took a scratch pass just to see where I was. And I'm taking, well, which was uh, 10 thou. And I'm taking a further 5 thou. Just want to get this to clean up. Just missing on that one corner. I think another five will do it. But there is plenty of meat on here. Okay. That's another five. the same 12mm cutter it seemed to uh, survive the onslaught of that cover plate or well, the steam cast cover they're still cutting okay this casting's much better I haven't seen anything hard in it at all so far okay so that's one side done we'll flip it do the other side and then see where we are as far as central about so that's 10 thou off there I think it's going to clean up. I took five though off. A couple of bits on the corners. And I think that'll clean up. So I'm going to do myself a little sketch showing the size it should be. 
and we'll have a little look see if we're central about in relation to the slot in the inside and uh, yeah we're going to take this I'm, I'm thinking about taking it to size but I think I'm going to leave it oversized um, because I'm just going to work on central about with this I don't know it's a work in progress I haven't uh, planned that far forward yet I do have an idea for how I'm going to set it up to turn the ends so I'll have a little measure here and a measure here and we'll see where we are are we central about or you know do we need to make some adjustment so I got my little sketch apart um, width across here 2932.906 um, I've just measured it up and I think it's 959 nine five eight and a half something like that we'll call it nine five nine so it's roughly fifty three thou to come off there um so we need to get it central about to the square the valve chest itself so i'm going to try and measure it i'm using the date and face at the same sort of depth because there is a draft on there two two five two two seven so i think that's negligible i think we'll uh, ignore that so fifty three thou to come off um, I think we'll take equal amounts off both sides. So, roughly 26 and a half thou to come off each side. I'm going to take 20 thou off each side. And then we'll come back and have another look about getting it central. So, 20 thou off each side. So, just get, taking my little brush and giving the vice a clean. Going to put this datum against the back face again. Um, in fact... I'm going to take 15 off each side because I'd like to face one of these faces just to make sure I've got something square reference. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to go with that. So, 15 off each side, and that brings us in the ballpark. So, yeah, 15 thou side. Again, I'm against that datum face at the back. Tighten up the vice. I'm... Uh, bit obstructed by the head there parallels tight so I'm going to come down to touch 15 hour side in fact it should be uh, on zero where we stand I'll just zero the head because I haven't changed anything and it was tapped down on a parallel last time we'll see uh, just come into range all by the shouting, yeah, it's in the same spot. I'll just run off the other end. I'm going to take a 10th cut, the 5th cut, then flip it and do the other side. I right, well, as we stand at the moment, we are 21 thou oversize. And if I measure central in the pocket, a couple of mil down here, 211, somewhere similar here. To 12 so yeah we're pretty much central about um, so I think what I'm going to do now is put it down on this space on a parallel holding on the outsides that we've just machined and flash this off just to a cleanup um, the thickness at the moment is 521 approximately uh, bear with me I'll just check what it's supposed to be finished so yeah, we're 521 now, 7 16 is the finished size, 437 and a half. So yeah, it is like, hang on, uh, what did they say it was? Yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah, there's a, you know, there's a good 70 thou on me. we <laughs> forget what I actually said then. So it's there against that uh, date of face I decided on earlier. Um, let's just bring it down. Get a touch off. And I'm going to clean this up now. So yeah, there's loads of meat on there. Look. I'm going to take 10 thou. I'm going to go straight at it with 10 thou. Slow that feed down a touch. Okay. Well, this is a bit of fun. Um, I'm about to machine this face here, my original date and face. As you can see, it's the narrow face. Um, it's 7 16 overall, and this is 3 16 to the center of this boss when it's turned, boss both ends, 
three sixteenths from this finished face. Okay. So with that being said, um, I've measured the diameter of this boss here. Just, you know, it's rough casting. 372, half of that 186. So, yeah, this finished face here, from this surface I'm looking at, wants to be about a thou and a half up from there. Um, in fact, it's this side. So a thou and a half up from this as it stands at the moment. So if I bring, put this in the vise, bring the cutter down just a touch on here, and then come up a couple of thou, set a zero, that's the plane of this space. Then I can flip it and do it to thickness. So that's where we're going with that. So I'm going to set it back up in the vise now and do exactly what I just said. So I've got the cutter set up over the top of the boss. I fold it in half cigarette paper. That's just binding in there. Let's just double. Yeah. Okay. That's two thou above that base. So I'm going to set a zero there. That's where I'm going to machine it to. So I'll just take it back up. And we'll machine this down. I'll see what it touches off at. We'll try and do some equal cuts. Okay, let's come back from there. 41 thou. Right, I think we'll do 10 thou cuts. There's 10. Take it gently, I think. So just taking the part out, um, we've machined this space, and as you can see, it's just proud of that boss. And the size I'm getting here is about 460 there. Four five nine and a half. Okay, so four five nine and a half. It needs to finish at four three seven and a half. So that's twenty two thou. So off this first base of these we've machined twenty two thou off. Now I did set the cutter at zero, so I'm going to pop it back in and take twenty two thou further cut. So that's the last tickle four thou across the top. And that should take it down to thickness. Now the width in this direction, or this direction should I say, we did leave some meat on there, so we'll address that after this next little procedure. I'm just going to show you where I'm going to go with this. Struggling to get the light in right today, sorry guys. Right, okay. When I come to turn the end of this, um, I want going to have, it's going to be difficult to get a reference from this space to keep this end and this end not the turned ends the faces um central in relation to the square so i've got a plan for that let me just take you to the drawing so the dimension across the square part is given as inch and five sixteenths 1.3125 um i'm going to take let me bring you back to the drawing uh, to the part but i'm going to take a slight skim off here just very shallow only about a mil deep without touching the bosses and a skim off here and see where I am central about and I'm going to bring a witness skim on both ends to finish size so when I'm turning I've got a reference point for the DRO on the lathe or for turning in general so what we're looking to do I'm going to come in here let me just get a depth that's not going to touch that boss about there should do it. Right, okay, let me just turn on. I'm just going to turn my power feed off just in case I hit the button. So I'm going to touch on here, somewhere around the center. It's probably a mil or so deep, this. I'm just going to do a clean up line on there. Not quite. Okay, that's cleaned up all the way across. There's a slight angle on there. 
I'm going to set a zero there in X on my DRO. And then go and do the one the other side. Exactly the same procedure. Just go into the middle there and give it a touch. I have to come into shot, I can't see from where I am. Maybe I can walk around the camera. That's cleaned up. Okay, so I'm going to bring it out the way, switch cutter off. I'm going to do a measurement of the two wall thicknesses. I would if my calipers haven't turned off. So 231, 236. Okay. So if I take another 5 thou off here, these ends are central about to the square in the middle. So I'm going to do that first, take another 5 thou, just missed it on the DRO, there, that's 5 thou. So there's a figure on my DRO at the moment from the cutter on the outside of this space to the outside of this space. To find the middle of it, I simply do the half function on the X and that'll bring my cutter smack in the middle of that pocket and smack in the middle of these two ends. Okay, so that's my starting point. Right. So let's have a quick look. Just to double check. In fact, come out of the way a bit more. So I can get my calipers in tidy, that's better. 2315. 2.30, 2.295. Okay, I could probably take another thou. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another thou. Two seconds. There we are. We'll take that thou off. I haven't touched my DRO. I now have got myself into a position where the left hand side of the cutter, as you look at it, was set zero here. And the right hand side of the cutter is whatever reading it is here. So if I do the half function in X and come to that zero with it, uh, come to that zero where it is. That'll put my cutter smack in the middle. And to get my finished size, I can offset equal amounts both ways. That's where I'm going with this. So let's go X half function. That half the figure that was in X, it was about 1.8 inch. And I come to zero there. Okay. That cut is now in the middle between these two machine parts and we know the two machine parts are roughly in the centre of the pocket. Now I need to get a final size. So the size I'm looking for is, <laughs> bear with me, I can't quite, let me come around this way. I can measure what that size is, 1.340, difficult to measure One point three three eight. One point three three eight. Okay, I'm going to write that down. So it looks like twenty six hour. It looks like thirteen hour side. So I'm going to come to a measurement over here. I'm going to get a touch. Just get a touch off. I'm going to take 10 thou from when I hear it tick. And take a note of the reading. 
day. Right, it's showing 9.04. So I'm going to go to 8.94. 8.94 on my DRO. Machine this side. And I'm going to go to 894 on the other side. Eight nine four. Okay. I'm going to make a note of that. 894 in my book. I'm going to have another measure. You're probably ahead of me on seeing where I'm going with this. 1.321. Okay, now let's have a look. easier for me to measure this way 1.321 okay so 1.321 I've got to end up at 1.312 that's 9 thou yeah it's about it's about eight and a half thou side nine thou side so my figure was 894 um let me just idiot proof myself. Was it nine thou side or nine thou in total? One point three two. One point three two one. Nine thou in total. So four and a half thou side. Four and a half eight nine four. That's going to be eight eight nine. Okay, lock X. Run that cut at 889. I'll do the same the other side. And those two witnesses should be where I was I'm a bit shy of size there I'm just going to measure again once more well <laughs> 1.3125 I thought it was about half a thou shy of size. Okay, so that's it. Um, the little undercut there and the undercut there are finished size of the flats. So that's my reference mark when I come for turning. That's my sort of datum for turning all the features on the ends. Let me just check um, oh, the thickness maybe. See how close we hit it. 217, 218. Uh, 218 yeah okay so um, that's useful to have those witness marks because I know when I turn this feature how much to turn everything down that's my sort of zero reference for all the dimensions on that end so, so we've already centralized it up just coming down onto a touch there's 22,000 total to come off there we are, there's a bind. Uh, so that's 11th hour side, this being a thou. 12th thou is going to be my mark on this side. Let's just switch my power feed back on. Uh, yeah, 12. 
で So moving on from here, I've got another little trick I'm going to do to aid in clocking it up because it is clocked up offset. Let's switch that off. Okay. So I'll just check my 906. If it was 904, if it was 907, I wouldn't be too worried. 908, maybe. There we are. 906 out. All by the shouting. It's on the money. Right, okay. So, where are we? We've got the thickness. Oh, come on, back into shot. The thickness here, set correct at the right offset to the bosses. we got the width here, set correct at the right offset to the hole in the middle. Okay, and um, the faces we machined, can you see the little groove in there? Another one the other end, uh, to size and the correct offset from the square in the middle. So that's gonna help when we come to turn the ends. We can use that as a reference point or a datum. Right, now what I wanna do is to set the center position of this boss, because clocking up this cast boss is going to be a horror. Um, we could clock up the square with the correct offset to make the one side 3 sixteenths from here. But far easier to put a centre drilled hole in the end in the correct position and then clock up a centre in the centre. So that's what we're going to do. So touch off on the back. Actually running a little slow. Wait for the skip. I seem to be much more sensitive with Y doing this than I am in X. Come on. There. Y zero. Can I get to the other side? <laughs> Yeah. Wait for the skip. Come on. There. So, uh Y half function on DRO and come to the center which is zero there <coughs> excuse me and lock off Y can I get the on that yep slightly different setup this time ooh I may Yeah <coughs> Hear me Got a feather in my throat I'm going to have to come back offset to do this Working in X now Bringing the part towards the wobble pin There I'm going to double check myself on this one Let's just set X to zero do that again. So I'll wait for the kick and then take a look at my DRO. Come on. There. Well. <laughs> uh, 0 0.00039. I think we'll call that good. Okay, I'll just set it to zero. Right, let's come back to my Y zero. Which is the center of the part in Y. 
lock that way again. Okay. So, um, ball on here is a hundred thou. So to get to the centre, I need to move fifty thou. So I'm just going to do a sanity check, but uh, I'm sure it's a hundred thou, not an eight. I know it's a hundred thou. I don't know why I'm checking this really. But let's just for peace of mind. Hundred thou. Right. Okay. So, uh, I need to move X this way, 50 thou, and then reset a zero. Well, in fact, what I could do is move 3 sixteenths plus the 50 thou. So, let's, uh, 3 sixteenths and 50 thou. You know, sometimes you get a mind block. Uh, 1, 8, 7, 5, and 50. 2, 3, 7, 5. Three, seven, uh, two, three, seven, four. I think we'll live with that. Okay. So, uh, theoretically, I should be roughly central on that boss and three sixteenths from this edge here. We'll, uh, we'll find out shortly. Um, so what do I need now? I need my drill chuck up in the collar. Oop. Um, I'm going to have to take Z up. Let me just set a Z zero. Remember, is that chuck still in view? Um, no, I'm out of view. But anyway, I put the chuck up and it's tight. Right, so I want a centre drill now. And that should do the trick. And I'm just going to check what hole is in here as to whether this centre drill is okay. But I'm sure it is... Yeah, it's at least 332. It's actually 31640 TPI at some stage, but uh, 332 is the smallest hole, which is just having a look. Yeah, about 2.4 mil. Uh, that's got a 2.2 mil tip on. So, yeah, basically, let's bring this back down closer to where my reference was okay Ooh. I can come even lower than that <coughs> I've got a feather in my throat I'm sure right okay so that is the point now I'm going to put a little tiny dimple in there Okay, and I'm going to check with a rule that I haven't lost my marbles. That looks like three sixteenths to me. Yep. I'm going to double check myself. Yep. <coughs> so nice dimple in here I can do it I'm going to do it I've uh, bear with me there's a packing gland goes in here eventually let's just have a look what's ready it was again it's a 
water. No, it's a 316.40. So. Nice center. Now it's not in the middle of this boss. Um, because this boss is rough cast, it's all shapes, it's going to be turned. But it is the correct distance from this space and it's central about in relation to um, the two faces. So that's all I'm concerned about. Everything's going to be turned from that centre and squared up against what we've machined so far. There we are guys, I think that's about it for this one. Uh, we've done the milling part of it and the next uh, episode, part two, the turning of the steam chest, is going to be following fairly shortly. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we shall see you all very soon. Cheers now.